Wahalo. I mean, this time the end and Jovi Mata eh, it be like Ukraine and Russia. <laughs> Hello guys, it's your girl Hello Nana, and this is Onana Nation. If it is your first time on this channel, you are welcome. Please go ahead and subscribe, honey. You would definitely love it here. And shout out to all amazing subscribers. You guys are the ish. I appreciate you guys so much for all the love and support. All right, so today we're going to be talking about two Cameroonian artists, big household names, Stanley Eno and Jovi. So these are like two of Cameroon's biggest artists and there's been a silent riff between the two of them for the longest time now. Wait till they hurt you, Jovi. Jovi no go talk. Wait till they hurt you, Stanley Eno, no go talk. But they keep giving hints here and there. Jovi says he feels disrespected by Stanley Eno. Not that Stanley Eno did something to him, but Stanley Eno omitted to do something, you know. Jovi says Stanley Eno committed the sin of omission, you know. Stanley Eno was somewhere, they asked him some questions. He was supposed to give Jovi his props, give Jovi his flowers. Jo um, Stanley Eno did not say nothing. And Jovi feels like Stanley Eno disrespected him. That the only way to disrespect somebody is not by doing something to them. It's also by not doing something to them or for them so that's how jovi started becoming mad at stanley you know and the rift has lasted a couple of years you know the two grown men any man gave pride any man had done grand fair for your own corner who is going to broker peace between these two any man their own side every now and then jovi will go on rants on twitter or on facebook and he will call stanley you know, out expressively last time he did that almost like two months ago stanley you know, you can reply say pa if you want to fight even and do more be ready come come be told me you go hustle up we go hash him out like two grown men you know of this your nonsense going around calling my name up and down so that's the last time i heard between stanley eno and jovi whether wait to happen wait to not happen no stanley eno is currently in um, in the u.s having a tour networking meeting new people trying to um you know branch out expand his horizons and whatnot so as what are you sleeping now for which good side of the bed to oh now which baby girl give me good massage last night to he woke up on the good side of the bed and then he took to facebook and wrote this message to jovi appreciating jovi i mean hollering jovi's matter i mean i mean he was praising jovi like no man's business i have to put that message here i'm reading out to you guys so starting you know in this constant brouhaha between him and jovi he appears to be the one always offering the olive branch he appears to be the one always asking for peace. I mean, if you read between the lines, he has the undertones of somebody who wants peace to reign. If Jovi would just take the olive branch that Stanley Eno is exchanging every day to extending every day to him, they will have no end since. Stanley Eno has tried to apologize shortly a couple of times in the past. I don't know why Jovi may just take and so. So let's go ahead and read Stanley Eno's message when he woke up on a good side of the bed on a good day, okay? And then he wrote this on Facebook. Let's read so Stanley Eno took to his Facebook page and wrote La Fraîcheur. <laughs> Oof, that sounds so good. Costard, su mesure. Para Paris, paro. <laughs> Stanley, Stanley meant. So Stanley was basically praising Jovi like Jovi La Fraîcheur de ça. Oof, see many picking, picking straight like ruler. See coats, coats slip for picking his skin. I mean, costaud su mesure la sapologie vous laisse more. So he's basically hyping Jovi up like, oh, you really did it with justice. Look at how the coat is a perfect fit on you. I love it. And for somebody with whom you're seem, um, seemingly beefing, for you to come out and be praising them like this, hollering their matter, hollering their jest and all that stuff, it means you kind of one piece and a low-key kind of way so i'm reading this post and going like what what is happening here i mean Cameroonians have had a lot to say about this message you're beefing with somebody and you just wake up one morning praising him waiting they happen i'm going to read all those comments in a minute but i'm reading this message and i'm thinking wow this is humble this is nice this is coming from a place of love this is coming from a place of extending an olive branch standing in a one's piece and i'm looking at all the big people in the industry what are you guys doing all these big people in the industry the stakeholders the producers, the label owners, don't you see Stanley Eno trying to make peace with Jovi here? This is the perfect opportunity for you guys to broker peace. Organize a meeting, call Stanley Eno, call Jovi, put them to one room, lock them. If you like, when I fight to the day, break like when I do most of the ABA, when I need come off for the room, when I never make peace, period. That's how they used to solve matters when I was growing up. If two people do it, they ever fight for over irrelevant things and we really cannot get to the root cause of the matter, 
Father, Lord, then two for each other room as two young men. If they want to fight me, they fight. If they want to make peace, me, they make peace. Anything they want to do, me, they do. At the end of the day, they'll come out of that room when their matters are all hushed and peace can reign. So I'm looking at the case and I'm calling on all Cameroonian uh, music stakeholders, all the key actors, the players. You guys should come out. All the label owner people that people respect you guys. Come out and broker peace between these two guys. Call a meeting, bring two of them. You can be a mediator or sit in the middle of a table. Stand in comes with these people, Jovi comes with these people, and then you ask them, wait till they happen, wait till they really pain you. And then when they sit down and tell you the root cause of the issue, and then we can start solving it because this industry is so well industry, the table don't fail break or all the legs of the table don't broke, and the small remaining leg. <laughs> If Jovi and Stanley end up continue to define, they go broke at all, low, and we cannot have this. We can't let it happen. So, listen, Linda, listen. We need to fix this situation. All right. So, now that I've told you guys what Stanley Eno did, let's find out what Cameroonians have to say about that. So, guys, after Stanley Eno's message talking about la fraîcheur and all that good stuff, Cameroonians started pouring in reactions and people were like, wait a minute, are my eyes paining me? That's the first comment from Tangiri Kwefi. And he's saying that what is happening here? This is unbelievable. Incredible. What's happening here? Cameroonians could not first of all believe why is Stanley Eno praising Jovi? Wait till they happen for you. It doesn't add up. Michael Zamani says, just one day, 237 will be whole. Amen, my brother. One day we will be whole. For real. I mean, we really need to come together on a more united front. All this in-house fighting, we will help now. Brother, they fight brother. Sister, they fight brother. We're not going anywhere with this in-house fighting attitude. We need to come together and work as, um, you know, in unison. So the next comments from Tangiri Kwefi says, This is a step to it. Yep, absolutely a step in the right direction. Stan Lennon is offering an olive branch. If Jovi can take it, then we'll have peace. ACB King says, All love. Amen. That's what we want. We want to get to a place where we are all exuding love, you know. You put positive vibes out there, you attract positive vibes. What is this bad energy between brothers and the industry? Like, it's not worth it. We want to be able to get to a place where it's all love. And then we have a comment from Renata Nzisang. That's a designer. She says, hey, wait. <laughs> Tanto Marilyn says, now, wow. <laughs> Baby Manik says, something is not right here. Who don't have this guy in phone? Like, people cannot even believe that Stanley N is the one typing this. They feel like maybe his PA, his personal assistant or a manager or somebody in his team has his phone and they're using it to type it for a publicity stunt, you know, so in the industry, people can start talking about him drawing more attention to him like we're doing right now we're doing analysis on youtube so they feel like the publicity stone they cannot even believe it's like hey wait now wow who has this phone so that's the level of disbelief that cameron yourself in these two celebrities ever working together in unity but i put it to you guys that hey, anybody can make peace in this world anybody can get along with anybody just as long as they put in the effort and you know one day we will begin to sing a love song between Jovi and Stanley. You know, just one day you watch. Let's read the next comments. So our next comment is from Julianne Dambi, and she says, "Somewhere there's a love story between Stanley Eno and Jovi. I absolutely believe that too. They have love. I mean, this has the undertones of love. You know, they're just looking for the right avenue to express it. That's why I said somebody needs to bring them together on the same table so they can hash things out." Monday Frederick says, "Julianne Dambi, now only you know the location. No, like he doesn't even believe that there's any love between Stanley Eno and." Jovi, Mundi, you're a, you're a black leg. We're trying to go forward. You're pulling us back. Well, don't be a black leg. Go. Choose peace, my brother. No, no to violence. <laughs> Next comment from Lino Lovett, an actor. He says, who else high AF? I'm not going to read the full meaning of that right now, right about now. So according to Lino Lovett, he thinks that these people are actually standing and don't smoke something. Now they make it give inspiration for come write this kind of <laughs> story on, on Facebook. So he doesn't believe that Stanley is in his right frame of mind. For purpose of YouTube, I'm not going to call it the right names. So he said that Stanley don't go smoke some, something. Now they make it come write this kind of nonsense or internet. Let's read the next comment. So the next comment is from ACB King and he says, at least 237 industry could get something for talk about bad boring industry, <laughs> Big to Stanley and Jovi. So ACB King is saying that when an industry fell bore like, like sleeping pap, this industry, no news. Somebody is pregnant in the US. She doesn't want to tell us. I keep saying that on my page. We are following us on Onana Nation on Facebook. You could don't hear that gist by now. One of our big, big artists that we love her so much. She does not want to give us gist. Like, these are the things that bloggers want to here i understand that privacy is good too but the industry is really boring people get engaged they're hiding it people are getting married they're hiding it why now you're a celeb give bloggers something to talk about give bloggers something to blog about even though i 
respect their privacy. If you're a private person, you don't want to put it out there good for you. Because the world of today fed is so in fact many men keep it good news because by the time you share it, people are looking for a hundred and one ways to destroy it. So ACB King is saying that bloggers are struggling in this industry because um they're not giving us enough content, you know, to work with. So he's saying that the industry is boring and thanks to outings like this, thanks to write-ups like this, Stanley is giving us the avenue to have content here and he's applauding them for that. Next comment is from Mopao Dilimonique and he says, You end my respect, sir. You are big in every sense of the word. Exactly. This is how somebody who is big behaves. Um, you know, be the bigger picture, take the high road every time. Like Michelle Obama says, when they go low, we go high. So I appreciate that comment from Mopao Dilimonique and Odette Berin, you see, is the sweetest post ever. Oh, actually, it is sweet. You know, um, this is a guy trying to hash things out. We appreciate that. And uh, Biradzem, oh, Benoit, this is Benoit, my friend. Benoit says, Make we know only he has said the account was hacked. As in, Stanley Eno has done this before when he came out and wrote something on his page, and it was causing Bruhaha. He came out to do damage control and he said the page was hacked. So, Benoit is just making sure, as in, Stanley, no one joy here tomorrow say your page was hacked. Just be saying this thing to your full chest. No kind tomorrow can recount the story when we're digging the vibe. When we're feeling it, no joy will call from nowhere can talk say hey, it was a mistake. My page was hacked. We no one joy yeah that that rubbish. We no joy one yeah that brick and lease. And then we have another funny comment. <laughs> King Al Fati Mali Adams. He says, Oh Pancho, you are international. Yeah, oh no joy heart <laughs> for saying that you bring peace. <laughs> This is so funny. For those of you who know CY um old Pancho in there who always says 8020 or no nothing. So CY is like one of those ancestors in this industry where it's a bit soil. Like he will disgrace you when he wants to. But sometimes they it makes sense. So sometimes he has a good point, but the way he puts it across just offends everybody. Like you didn't want to listen to him, even though it makes sense sometimes then. So our fatty um Adams is saying that CY are on your heart. For just go for Facebook, go live, start talking, kind of, you make peace. How <laughs> now you don't call Stanley Eno all the way from a test and tell him what to do and how to apologize to Stan, to Jovi and how to make peace and all that stuff. And see when I can grab friend or see when they fear you. See when they fear feast. I mean, he can literally say something like this. He says outrageous things all the time. Next comment is from Danny Green, 237 Town Crier. He says, all love as it should be, let love lead. Exactly, Danny. That's the message we're trying to pass today. Let love lead. Whether we today happen or we know they happen, we are all humans. We all make mistakes all the time. Uh, they say to, to err as human, but to forgive as divine. If you can forgive people and learn to mend your bridges, do not burn bridges. You don't know who will help you tomorrow. Not only about who will help you tomorrow, living at peace with all men is really primordial. It's very important. When you have peace in your mind, you know, say, my conscience be clean. I never hurt me anybody. Yo. I'm doing my best to be nice and cordial and respectful of people and their time. And I'm not expressly doing things to hurt people you have peace of mind you'll be glowing as in you can't help it you'll just be glowing because your heart not get bitterness in any way shape or form so when you wish people well and you make peace with people you live your life in your own small little corner in a peaceful way you'll be glowing as in you don't even need a skincare routine people be asking you who is your skincare plug you say na jehovah because actually you don't have bitterness in your heart you don't have any bone of contention in you you try your best not to step on people's toes and that's how you live in peace you know it's good to be at peace with all men at all times a wise man once said that to me so imagine just having your life you know being happy and being in peace i mean that's an ideal situation even though the world is crabby people will do shitty things to you just to make you angry and stuff but if you can always be the bigger picture rise above the head rise above all those little connivings around town and try to just stay you keep your eyes on the price and focus on your own smoke on that jelly you know where you're going you know where you came from that's the bottom line of everything so yeah, industry people low, over to you guys. It's time for action. You guys should wake up. Bring Stanley Eno together and, and Jovi. I'm not lock them for our room. If they want to fight me, they fight. If they want to do me, they don't want No money come up for that room if peace never be. So yeah, enough of my rantings, enough of my ramblings. I remain your girl, Onana. I guess we've come to the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If it is your first time on this channel, how come you're just finding out about Onana Nation now? I mean, you didn't miss. Oh yeah, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and read, hit the red subscribe button below this video. Subscribe and become a part of this amazing family. Here we have fun. We talk all things entertainment, African recipes and lifestyle. 
please go ahead and subscribe you definitely love it here like um the video leave me your comments what do you think about this video let us know what you think about it i'll be reading your comments i'll get to them i'll reply when i find the chance and have an amazing amazing no week i love you guys subscribe like and share tag stanley and tag jovi and tell them to choose peace over violence because i know jovi if you just go to twitter start up rubbish <laughs>